Welcome back to the East Circuit, the only way to turn up your weekend. Thank you for joining us yet again. Uh, remember, we're here until 12 noon, so you can still send your request to White yep. 54 channel. I'm mm -hmm. at the East Circuit. Now, DJ Milton is here waiting for mm -hmm. your request. Sure. Our first interview mm -hmm. is with Audrey Chibole. She is a singer and a presenter with Sign TV. Welcome to the East Circuit. Thank, Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Now, uh, your story uh, starts way back when you wrote your first song when you were in Class 6. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty long time ago. So yeah. I wrote my first song. Then I, I did it with two of my classmates. Then two of your classmates. Yeah, but they don't sing anymore. I don't uh -huh. know what happened. Uh -huh. And then I wrote a second one. But I started writing my own songs in class six. Mm. Yeah. Uh, w were they gospel songs? Because you're a gospel singer. Okay. They, let me say, were they inspirational? I inspirational. Yeah, let me say, they were inspirational songs. Mm. Yeah. And what inspired you when you were that young? My dad was a music teacher, okay. so I grew up around music, and mm. I just felt like I should follow his steps. Mm. And I think I also had passion for music, so I just decided to write a song. Mm. Yeah. So as a music teacher, does it still have that influence on you? Yeah, as a music teacher, yeah. <laughs> it does. Because yeah. I'm, I'll, I know one day I'll have to teach my students how to compose their own song, how to write melodies and stuff. So mm. it has impact on me also. Your story is very inspirational because uh, as you continued on with uh, primary school and on to high school, mm -hmm. uh, you lost your sight when you were in Form 4. Yeah. Mm. How was that experience? experience it was tough mm. it was very tough because you know you have to adjust from your old life you used to see things and you have to come back to another life you learn the new language of the blind called braille mm -hmm. you have to learn how to use technology like and learn I, how to adjust yeah it was hectic mm. yeah uh, was there anyone who was helping you at the time someone who taught you the ropes and on uh, things like braille yeah, I was taught Braille at a certain school, a special school, it's called Kibos. Mm -hmm. That's why I was taught Braille, mm. basically that. <laughs> that change, I can imagine, it was, you know, really drastic. Yeah, it was, uh, mine wasn't so drastic because mm. I lost my sight. Uh, it was, it, was it gradual? Yeah, it was gradual, kind of, but yeah, it mm. was gradual. Mm. Mm -hmm. So completely it went uh, when you were in Form 4? Yeah, completely, in, in the sense that I couldn't read print was when I was in Form 4, mm. but completely, 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 mm. and completely was in 2015. In 2015? Yeah. Oh, but two years later, you had uh, an inspirational song which highlighted like that journey from yes. uh, Form 4 to 2015. Mm -hmm. It's called Nikosa, yeah. featuring Angel. Yeah. Can you tell us about that song? Because we're going to premiere that song here today as well. When I had Nico Sawa in mind, I yeah. thought it's something I shouldn't do alone. Mm. I should get someone who's gone through the same challenges at, as me to just air out that message. Mm. So I watched Angel. I had watched Angel and her mother mm -hmm. before, and I saw her story, how people used to, people despise her. They look at her. Mm -hmm. they, they judge her according to how she looks, how mm -hmm. the size of her head, kids laugh at her. So I felt like she was undergoing the same things, the same problems and troubles mm. that you I was You felt doing. connected to her story as well. Yeah, so I approached mm. her mom and with the song and she was like, it's okay, it's a good song. Mm. That's how we ended up doing it. Mm. Yeah. That, that was, you know, like your return to music ever since class six. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I've yeah. been actively, I was just in music, singing in school, yeah. studying music and stuff. I was, m music has just been part mm. of me. But now but professionally, then professionally 2017. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how was that experience for you? Because now, you know, you're, you're solidifying yourself as an artist in Kenya, as mm -hmm. a born again artist, as a gospel singer who sings also inspirational songs. Mm -hmm. So how is that for you? The experience was good and mm. I just, I was happy because the song, the reception was good given that <laughs> I'm not that big yet. <laughs> so the reception, the way it was received was good according to me, the feedback. Mm. Everyone loved it and everyone got a message from it. So, mm. yeah. But your music is big. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> your music is big, yeah. DJ <laughs> Milton has already uh, <laughs> yeah. clarified and <laughs> True. I make yeah. a mohori, so to mm. speak. <laughs> mm. big, big. But there's also mm. so, a, a few songs that you're working on, yeah? Yeah, I'm working on a new project, uh -huh. which is coming soon. 
can I say we're featuring who? Or okay, is it still no, a secret? I, it's still a secret. I'm just featuring one of the biggest artists in mm -hmm. Kenya, but I won't say who. So keep checking. Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. and mm. on, uh, What are your handles there? Instagram, Audrey underscore Chibole. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Audrey Chibole Lizanda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll, you'll see the artist soon. Mm. <laughs> yeah. mm. uh, there's probably <laughs> someone who is watching your story right now on TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're probably going through the same thing, you know, the gradual loss of sight or something similar. Mm -hmm. uh, what advice would you give them? <laughs> First, trust the process of accepting yourself. It's not easy. But the moment you accept that that's the situation you are in and probably there's nothing you can do about it, mm -hmm. just accept yourself and from there you'll be able to do anything else. Mm. Yeah. Trust the process. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's really powerful. Yeah, it's inspiring. Thank you yeah. so much for coming through. We're ab about to play a Nico Sao by Audrey featuring Angel mm -hmm. right here on the East Circuit. Okay. Can I big up someone? Sorry? <laughs> Can I big up someone? Please, please, please do, please do. Please uh, do. I, I want to big up my designer, yeah? Master, Master Collection. Master <laughs> Collection. She also, she also, she's also done my makeup. She's called Iliana Kelo, mm -hmm. you can follow her on social media and also my management, Fanikisha mm Talanta, -hmm. yeah, for the good work they're doing with my music. Mm -hmm. And everyone, my fans who are watching out there, thank you for tuning in. Ezra and company. <laughs> Ezra and company. <laughs> yeah. It's always good to have a support system. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for, you know, holding Audrey's hand through this process. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, we look forward to this secret collaboration it's that's coming through. And it's going to be bigger and better, yeah? Yeah. And it's going to premiere right here on the East Circuit? Mm. Of course. <laughs> 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 okay, we'll be waiting for it. Until then, yeah. here's Nico Sao by Audrey. Okay.